Welcome to your new snoozling room. Today you're going to come into the room and there's far too many things running in this room so this would never be the way you would ever come into this room. So what I'm going to do today is walk around the room, explain how to turn on and turn off every, every piece of equipment in here, a little bit of an overview of how it operates and that's the prime goal of today. So one of the things to bear in mind, uh, it should be a, a clean shoe or no shoe room. Um, it's not advisable to be walking in here with uh, dirty shoes from outside because quite frankly, what it'll do is mark up all your mats and, and the room won't look as good as it did the day we installed it. So let's start with our sensory magic. This is what's making all of the noise in this room today. This is the computer that controls it over to the wall, uh, what's on the wall, including the projector. So we're gonna go through that this morning and uh, talk about how it operates and, and what we do with it. Right now, we have it running. Uh, it's running on, there's many different programs on it, as you will see as you go through it. We've just restarted the, the computer, uh, and we've done this via the button on the side. This is the screen that comes up. Given it a minute or two, it'll come up to this particular screen, which is sensory magic. Now, for the sensory magic at this time, and it will change probably, the username is manager, the password is password. And we enter. Okay. At this point, I'm only going to talk about the sensory magic, which is right there, little head, push the button. Education, relaxation, and stimulation. Um, so whatever you want, we'll change these programs. So let's go down to the, the, the demo. The demo for uh, sensory magic demo. And we'll just push the top one and hit. There we go. So it's going to rotate down through this menu, complete, uh, and then keep rotating through the menu. Uh, as you see over on the far wall here, we have the it playing up on the far wall through the projector. This will play along uh, this, this particular one. Your trainer will go through with you how to put CDs in. Uh, it's a full computer. How to use this. Please don't update it. Don't do anything. Talk to Toronto if there's any, any you have any issues with the computer. Uh, and it'll run right along uh, for quite, quite a long, for as long as you want. You can change programs. You can go to relaxation, start relaxation. Uh, you can go to, to stimulization, uh, and I think the nicest one is wake up for the, or they're all nice actually, cartoon planes. It's quite interesting. So there's all kinds of programs. So what I'm trying to demonstrate is there's all kinds of different levels for different, different people in here. Uh, so once you're finished with it, you just hit the, the X, the X down here again takes you back to the screen. It's a, it's a, uh, a Windows program, Windows 8. And selection, power, shut the power off, shut down. That simple. And then you'll, uh, I leave all of my remotes. When I leave the facility up on top here, there is a remote here for the uh, projector. Push the remote on the projector. You'll see up on the, it says powering off at one button, top left right hand corner. Um, turns off the projector, it'll run for a while and then shut down. One of the things that you have to really be cautious of is before you start your computer uh, with, with the button on the side, as we talked about a few minutes ago, uh, start the projector using the same button, power it up until you see something coming up on the wall. Some, like It'll say uh, fo in focus, as long as you can just read it, that's fine. Then go to your computer and start it up. If you don't, nothing syncs together. So be sure that you do that first and you're, you're all done there. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up what we're going to talk about sensory magic. Right now, actually, we're going to talk about the remote controller. This is to turn every device in this room on and off with some exceptions. The exceptions are the stereo, the projector and 
the uh, computer. That is all of them that are not controlled by this device. Please, please, please get some training on it before you try and use it. Don't try and program it. Um, it's fairly complicated, but easy once you understand it. So as we go along, we're going to start with our star projector, which is this. This remains on for approximately four hours. It will tur turn itself off. Uh, there are stars, as you can see, that they will move their laser stars. My warning to everybody is don't turn it down and turn it at anybody because quite honestly they are lasers. Don't, turn, don't point them at anybody. Um, they're made to go on the roof. They'll move, as you can see. Um, on the back, there's a, a little knob here to turn the, the blue, as you can see the blue up here. That represents the sky. Now, again, we have all of the lights on in here. So when we turn the lights off on here, you'll see this more pronounced. Right now, it's, it's not as pronounced as it would be. Um, your lasers, they'll just move along. So that, and this is on this controller. It's, I think it's called STARS. Next thing is your, uh, your, what we call on the controller, the ball. It's a Wi-Fi. It will change color with the entire room and when we go into the Wi-Fi mode. Um, but right now it's right on the, the, the uh, disco ball, if you will. It's shooting colors different spots of the room. And again, you may not be able to pick it up with a camera because uh, it's just that we have the main lights on for filming. Okay, so this again is controlled on here called the ball. Now we have a solar projector. Uh, it's running down onto that wall over here and it's again not that bright because quite honestly we have all of the lights on. Once the lights are off it's, it's quite, quite a lot different. This is where I'm placing the, the all of the converters. They're all up here. Please don't stick them in your pocket. I, I tend to do that uh, so I make sure that they all go on the shelves. Uh, you'll decide at the end of the day where you want to keep them and then or sign them out or however you do that but please keep them in a central spot or whatever you're going to do. Have some policy on it. Um, so this is your your star projector. As I talk about it I found another one over here. I apologize. Uh, but it was on a shelf. Uh, over here you have a selection of discs for this. Okay, there's a complete selection. You have 12 inch discs and 6 inch discs. This is an, all these are LED by the way. Uh, to change this disc, it's pretty simple. You bring it down, you slide this whole unit out, and unplug it. Okay, on the back here, there's a controller left right on off or left right middle is off speed is right here the speed control so you can make this run fast or slow right now we have a 12 inch disc in there if we want to put a 6 inch disc in we put the 6 inch disc and turn it up put the 6 inch disc in the center here press it, press it on and it will run a 6 inch disc this way or turn it over and we put the 12 inch disc in it's once you, uh, if you put the wrong disc in the wrong way, you won't, get, you won't get a light coming through it anyway. So you'll know that you've done it incorrectly. A um, few things that you've got to be careful of. Be sure when you're taking the disc on and off, you, my fingers go right underneath to pull it off. Uh, don't pull it from the edges. You'll break the disc. Push it back on. Put it on a little pin and push it right in until uh, it's in snugly. You don't have to go crazy, but push it in. And once it's in, it's fine. Okay? If, it wa if you're seeing the thing go in and out of focus, you don't have the disc in round you've got in sort of kitty corner. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. It will when you touch it. Um, there's two tracks at the back. You slide it down on these two tracks. Plug it in. Doesn't matter. There's two plugs here. It's irrelevant which one you plug it in on. Put it back up on the wall. Focusing is this. It turns in and turns out at the front. Uh, right now with all the lights on, it's very hard to actually see the focusing. If you're going to focus, I suggest you focus with the lights off. 
All right, so it's moving on that wall, you, and that's probably the open, only open wall. Now, you'll notice that sensory magic and your solar projector are on the same spot in the wall. Understood, but you won't be running everything at the same time as I said earlier. So that is all of your, your disks and, your, and how that operates. On the back of it, there's an on-off switch on the back of this one, uh, I, but again, it is controlled through the, the system change it with the system, okay? Uh, so now we're gonna start to move around the room. We have our tactile panel, not much to say about that from, a, from an on off switch, it's obviously, there is no on and off for it. Uh, since I'm standing on the mats, let's talk, and I'm over here, let's talk about mat care. These mats will get dirty. Please, as I said earlier, you come in, clean, either clean shoes or no shoes. Preferably no shoes, but uh, again, that's a policy that, that you folks will develop yourself. Uh, the mats, wash them, uh, clean them, because they are going to get dirty. Uh, if you use a, a cleaner, make sure that you wash the cleaner off, okay? Um, it's, it's, it's imperative you get that heavy cleaner off and get it diluted right down to nothing with water. It's just good general mat care, very important. Uh, now they will get dirty, they do lift out, and that's sort of all we can talk about mats. We'll talk about, so that's all the mats and all of the uh, soft accessories in this room. Now down here we have a, a vibrating mat. Now there, there's a control for it, there's a power switch for it, on off, power, it uh, turns up, turns down. Uh, there's functionality to it. It's on an on-off switch as well. Uh, at this point, we have it turned off. Uh, what I suggest is not walking on this once you're finished with it. The plug is right there, lifts off, put your plug to the back, take this mat, fold it up, and put it perhaps against the wall like that. Just keep it out of the way. It's not made to be walked on. Moving along, slowly, uh, we have our infinity panel. These are our controlling switches. So as we move along, we can move, speed it up, we can stop it, we can make it different sounds as we go along. Change, change the, the pattern, we can keep changing the pattern. The, all this does, it plugs in, it opens up. If somebody couldn't get to it, uh, when this is running, as it runs, you push the button and it stops it. Release the button, and a second hit, and it starts to move again. That's the purpose of this. Uh, so it would be somebody, perhaps in a wheelchair, whatever, that couldn't get up to the unit. This unit is also controlled on your remote. Um, there's an on and off button on here, a volume button, and there are three different modes. So the three different modes control what's going on on your screen, the different uh, patterns you're going to get. Uh, there's a many combinations. Uh, so as you start to use it, there, it's all outlined in the owner's manual as to what to do and not to do with, with, your, uh, uh, with your infinity panel. So the next thing along the line here uh, is our bubble tubes. First off, let's talk a little bit about mirror care. Mirror care is very important. Uh, it will get dirty. I tend to use a microfiber cloth, wet microfiber cloth, and a uh, dry microfiber cloth. Just wiping the mirrors off uh, usually does the trick. Don't use Windex, any harsh abrasives. Uh, very highly suggest just using microfiber cloth, okay? Your bubble tubes, let's briefly talk about maintenance. Uh, they should be drained at least once a year, uh, they should be drained once a year, refilled with distilled water. As the level comes down in, in them, perhaps to here, you'll be the judge of how far down, top them up with, with uh, distilled water and the tops come right off. So you can take the top off, put your distilled water in and put it back together again. Uh, when you have this off once a month, you take it off once a month and you use this fluid, BCB, and that's ordered through Flyghouse. 
It's made for bubble tubes and water features. What it does is it makes sure you keep a nice clear, clear uh, water in here. Uh, it also prevents the uh, algae and everything else growing and all the nasties growing in water because it still is water even though it's distilled. So for every meter or three feet, um, use 20 milliliters or 25 milliliters uh, in the bigger tube uh, per meter. So each one would get two. This would get 40 milliliters, 40 milliliters, 50 milliliters would be what you'd add to this each, t each and every month. And please do that monthly. Uh, I can't stress enough, you want to keep the tubes in good shape because when they start to look murky and nasty, you've lost the effect of your whole, your whole bubble tube. Now, a little bit of water's dripped down here, so I'm cleaning it off again with just my microfiber. Pretty handy little tool. So, you'll also notice out of here, you've got bamboo coming out. These, these are fiber optics. Uh, they're securely anchored inside. Uh, and again, you can't see them as well as they will be when the room is darkened or you just have a few things on. Uh, these micro, these uh, people will tend to braid them, play with them. And the next question I always get asked is, well, how do I clean them? Same way you clean anything else, but be sure you use lots of water to neutralize them. Uh, don't stick them into, uh, you know, harsh chemicals, vinegar, or things like that. Make sure you just treat them. Uh, as you would treat your mats, use lots of water, clean them off, uh, and just separate them to, to wash them and to clean them. Uh, now, people will tend to drape them around themselves. They'll do all kinds of wonderful things with them. They're very robust. Okay? Uh, now here, this is what we call our Wi-Fi controller. Don't use a Wi-Fi controller at the same time you're using your sensory magic. Both of them control all the colors in the room. Uh, with the exception of the water feature over underneath the stereo and the projector. This uh, will change colors of everything in the room. On here, there's an on-off button. Now we've turned it on. So we can pick any color we want. I've, uh, it's changing every color in the room. Up on the spotlight, on the wall wash be at the back of the room, the three bubble tubes, and on the infinity panel. You can have it do other things. There's a lot of programming involved in here. Um, we don't program it any further than this. There is a manual on it, but I really don't suggest without training you start to ch change this because it will go into foreign languages. Uh, and I'm not good at too many foreign languages. Button on the bottom turns it off. You heard that little chiming sound. It turned it off. Um, it's not the end of the day. If you don't turn it off, it will self-time out in, a, in an hour or two. Um, it is chargeable. So I can't tell you how often to charge it because it depends on how much you use the room. But when you do charge it, we have the charger. It's sitting here. Plug it into here. Put it into an outlet. When the green light's on, it's charging. When the green light goes off, it's finished charging. So that is the, the essence of how this works. Now we're going to talk about the Sumatron chair and we're just going to work our way around, around the room as, as we go, as I said earlier. So this Sumatron chair is made for laying on it, sitting on it, um, there's vibration that comes through it. It's all controlled by the stereo on the, far, on the other wall, which we'll get to in a minute, but this does, all the sounds come through this chair. Uh, the ideal sounds are sounds with uh, music with deep bass in it uh, and you will hear it talking and so on. Um, in a CD or on the radio is not really the best use of this chair because you want the vibrations coming out through the chair. So very simply that's how the chair operates. Over here you've got an LED shadow light. Uh, as you can see it's not plugged in right now. We're waiting on an electrical outlet so we can have it on our remote. That will happen very shortly so when you actually look at this film you'll see it plugged in up there. Uh, you'll be able to turn it on and off. The purpose of turning it on and off is for black light. Now, if you're doing black light, don't have everything on in here. Uh, I have some things on, but please don't expect the black light to work 
when you've got the uh, uh, upper lights on, say bubble tubes and all of the panels running at the same time, you're not going to get the effect from it. There are tiles that were purchased to, to just to drop on the floor here and there will pop with the, bi with the black light. It really does make quite a difference. Uh, so that'll go on and off it's, and if you come in here and it's sort of a, a bluish color, uh, if you come in, it's on. There's, you really don't want it on unless you're going to be using a black light application. There are some fiber optics, colored fiber optics on the side. It will pop their color as well. Uh, so that's kind of what this does. Uh, it's again controlled on off through your controller. Working our way around the room, the bean bag chair is strategically placed here so we have the fiber optics so when people are sitting here they can sit and play with their play with the fiber optics uh, and they use them uh, put them around them look at them stare at them do whatever they want with them um, they're quite people get quite fascinated with these um, again cleaning same sort of situation clean it with whatever cleaner you're going to use make sure you get copious amounts of water on it to be sure that you've got the uh, you know you've got the cleaner out of it it is plastic you don't want to destroy it okay and if I didn't mention it before, every one of these things that we're talking about today, there are manuals to back it up. And they're detailed manuals, so they will take you through as much or as little as you need. So in this room, I want to just draw to your attention uh, that there's two panels in here, an infinity panel, which we talked about earlier, and the color match panel. There are Hi, I'm Chris Hastings from Flag House, and we're here at uh, Jackson County Health and Human Services in uh, Medford, Oregon, and uh, I'm going to be introducing you guys today to uh, the brand new snooze lid room that I just finished installing. It's been turned off, so let's make a little bit of an agreement here that we leave these panels on, turn them on and off with your controller. All right, so on the color match, there are three different set, three different modes. Uh, I have it in the middle mode, so the idea of it in the middle mode here is to color match this to there. That's pretty happy with me. Okay, so again, I'm matching these colors to here. There are three different modes. They're again explained in the book. Um, pretty simple. There's a volume control up here, the mode and the on off. Uh, that's pretty much all. There is. It's quite a quite a good panel because people do get quite fascinated with this panel uh, and motor skills and so on and uh, your trainer will go through all of that with you. So now we're moving along from our, our match panel up to our, y, our wash Wi-Fi. Say that three times. Uh, what that does is it spreads the color across, the across here. It is locked in with the uh, sensory magic and with your control panel. So when you hit your control panel, uh, control uh, Wi-Fi controller, what it will do is change the color in everything in the room, including the wall wash. When we did that, showing you over the other side, you didn't see that when we were doing, demonstrating it, you didn't see that, but it actually does change as well, changes the color across here. Uh, nice, nice effect. Um, it will change it again with when we use the sensory magic uh, computer, computer, it does change the color of the wall wash and everything else in here as well at the same time. That's the purpose here. So let's move on to our, uh, our, our uh, leaf chair. So the idea of the leaf chair, it sort of sits here and, and uh, lets people enjoy themselves, um, relaxing, it's a pretty much a relaxing area. Now, for people in wheelchairs and so on, if you had a Hoyer chair or Hoyer lift, you most likely could put that person in, uh, in as you can see, it'll rotate so you can get that person in, into, into, your chair, into here and let them enjoy the room as well. Uh, close to over here, you have fiber optics, they're rainbow fiber optics. Again, as I said, the, um, they're accented with the black light. Uh, so, but as you can see, there's colors on them and so on that work quite well. They reach the chair, so the person in the chair would tend to use these as well as experience the room at different levels. Uh, again, controlled by the, control, the, the handheld controller, turns them on and turns them off. Um, so please don't reach inside and turn them on and off with a, your, uh, uh, by opening it up and turning them on and off. Just don't do that. 
So again, they reach here, no problem. Uh, all, these, all this padding, we've talked about how to maintain and control padding. Um, and that's really all there is to this. People will turn it, they will do, what, do whatever. Uh, I've seen them braided, I've seen all kinds of wonderful things done with these. Uh, the, the people that will use them, your clients will actually very much enjoy them. So as you can see, there's little lights, all the fiber optics all the way up and down them. Quite a, quite a nice feature. Okay, so now over here, we're gonna continue on around the room. You'll see your stereo up here. Now, it's just not any stereo. Uh, what it does is it, can, it will make this music come out of your Sumatron chair, which we went over earlier, the relaxation chair. Um, it turns on over on the button here. You can use CDs in it. Um, I've got the bass boost set up in it. Um, there's a switch at the back over on this side. Uh, you'll use selection A or B. Uh, when you get over here, you'll actually see it. There's, two, there's actually four buttons on here. We're only using the bottom two, which you can easily reach. Uh, A and B. A is for the speakers. Uh, B is for the chairs. You can have them both on or one on. I suggest you just leave the chair on. The music comes through the chair. Use a CD with a, a heavy bass component. Um, that tends to vibrate through the chair, uh, uh, through the Sumatron chair, making it, uh, giving the client a really good experience. Um, so it's not much different than any other uh, stereo, only the fact you can use Apple products and plug them in. You can have a, a USB, you can plug it in, you can use CDs, uh, it has FM, AM, all of the stuff. So great stereo, great purchase. So that's all it really is to talk about the stereo. So we're going to move down here to the water feature. And I've said this before, but all these things are controlled by your controller. Don't shut it on and shut it off. Um, there is a shut off down underneath the pads. I don't want you to go into it. Um, this, again, will be topped up frequently uh, with distilled water. Keep it up above this line, but below the line below the, to the top. So put, put water in it uh, you, to keep it up, with distilled water only. Take and put in um, your additive, about 20, millile 20 milliliters, the additive I talked about and showed you earlier, use that once a month. Uh, it's imperative you do because if you're not using that, you can turn these things green. Uh, then you'll be calling Flaghouse and asking, gee, can I replace it? So please keep maintain it. Uh, it'll bubble. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful uh, water feature, but it does not change color with, with the Wi-Fi. It's not designed to. It'll be one, it'll change colors, but it isn't in sync with your, your, your bubble tubes and your panels. It's not in sync with them. It's not designed to be in sync with them. So that is how that operates. Uh, the last, so uh, we've talked about the, pr the projector part as being part of the sensory magic. Um, there's a remote for it, which we talked about to turn it on and turn it off. Uh, if you can't find the remote, the on off is right here at the bottom. You can turn it on and off. It's being set up, um, the coining and so on's all being set up for you. Uh, now, if you get really in one, it be somebody does do something to it, there is a manual with it, as I've given all the manuals to, to management so that they have them to, to work with. The last thing we want to talk about is the gesture tech, which is down here on the floor. Great, great unit. Uh, as you can see, I'm walking in the water and I'm actually moving the water along. Uh, we can tell you all kinds of stories about how wonderful these, these units are, but they truly are magnificent. Uh, so what we're gonna do right now is go through the turning on and turning off of, of the unit. Uh, there are two different remotes for this unit. This one is for the projector. This one controls the system. Sorry, I got it upside down for you. Okay. So you wanna be able to, to use, you'll need both of these, again, up on the shelf. So to turn it off, very simply, you just turn it off with this remote. The trainer will go through this with you. That turns it off. So this will shut down the computer. 
shutting it down. Now, two ways you can uh, have this shut down. Um, first, you can shut it down here with your the projector with your uh, controller. Um, that's one way. You leave it on about a minute, minute and a half, and it will actually shut itself down. So, but we'll just force it by turning it off. Power off, yes. Now we're just going to have to uh, just give it a minute. Uh, I don't suggest ever turning any projector on and off very rapidly. So we're going to turn on this gesture tech which projects the images on the floor. It's interactive. Uh, you'll see we have a white mat down here. Um, again, treat it like any other matting. Um, don't walk with heavy big shoes on it, boots, whatever. Um, it's a nice mat. You'd, it, it really pops the image. So quite honestly, a great mat. Uh, if it's in your way, roll it up. There is a roll outside here to put it on, to roll it up and put it aside uh, if you're not going to be using it. I, I don't suggest using it as, a gen, as, as just everything to walk across in your street shoes. Um, you'll be doing a lot of cleaning and that's probably not what you want to do. So we're going to talk about how to start this fella up. Now, just as a refresher, when we talked about our sensory magic, we turned on the uh, projector first and the computer second. Now, we do this reverse. So, we want to turn on the computer first and then we'll turn the projector on. So, let's start with that. Down around at the back, on the bottom, right hand side, there's a button you put your finger up it turns on the computer. Uh, you'll see the computer come on. There's a little window there. You can see a little bit of the light. You can actually hear it. If you don't have everything running around you, you can hear the computer come up. It's a computer. It's a, called a gesture tech computer, which drives the system. Once you turn that on and it's running, you can then turn on your um, projector with this remote right in my hand. Okay, please don't lose these. These are quite important. So unfortunately you have to get down here. If you can see it, you can tilt it forward a little bit. Uh, and for, the, for, for demonstration purposes, I will turn it so you can see there's a button here. As you can see, it says power button. Power button's right underneath here. It's right down underneath there. Hold it for about three, four, five seconds. It takes a minute or two to come up. We'll turn it back. And again, uh, the only reason I turned that is this for the camera. I don't suggest anybody turning it. There's no need to turn it. You can reach it quite well where it is. Okay. Um, once it's up and running, and sorry, but over here, you should be able to see a little light back here. Uh, I can't see it at this moment, but there is a little light that comes on back in there. Once you set it up there, you turn on turn it on with this, just turn on and then turn it, turn it off. So again, you'll see a little light, blue light will come on. You'll hear the little beep that starts the projector up. And simply that's all there is to turning it on, turning it off as, uh, as we, we did in the beginning. So what I want to end this segment with is a discussion about Flaghouse. There's a, a sign here that says Snoozeland. It gives you a phone number. It gives you a website. Please use this. If there's problems, call Flaghouse. Um, start, with you, start with your in-house, but when it gets past in-house, have your in-house people call Flaghouse, uh, call them, or check the website, and you can drill down and, and see their manuals on everything and so on. But I really do suggest you go through your in-house folks first before you get to Flaghouse. But if it's absolutely stymied, then that's where to go. If you need to order more supplies, then supplies being your fluids and, uh, or uh, whatever that you do need or any help you need, then by all means contact Flaghouse. But again, I can't stress enough, go to the people, your experts here, and then, then move your, move on, then let them move on and contact because they have their contacts with Flaghouse but we want to put this here so that everybody knows that we stand behind, the, we're good and we understand the product and we want to help you. So hopefully that helps.
Good luck, have fun, um, enjoy your room.